Thanks a lot, Peter Bell. And you can see the emotion and dedication coming to life out of Tyler Wright's voice. Emotional moment for the whole Wright family and all of her fans around the world as she will be world number one heading down to Bell's Beach on top of the Jeep leaderboard. Now check out this matchup for the final of the Quicksilver Pro Gold Coast. We've never seen this before. <laughs> Wilco in his first final out here and Dino in his first final on the Gold Coast. Wilkinson, the goofy foot for Australia. Kolohe, the regular foot from the USA. While we were away, Wilco got started, Potts. Yeah, well, he's just picked up where he left off with surfing like that. You know, this is what's got him through, Joe. This is what's taken down. He's taken down some big guns with this backside attack. And you know what? Why change it? He's on that same board that's just looking unbelievable under his feet. He's got that wide stance going, and he's just rattling off serious turns all the way down through the line here, keeping that momentum flow, power, combination of major turns right there, almost pulling that last one off. Matty Wilco, well, another, uh, well, starting the heat with a good score, that's for sure. And you can see Kolohe and Dean on the replay in the distance. Yeah, getting those up. carves started, Potts. Yeah, getting that, you know, he's going to have to sort of show a little point of difference. Obviously, uh, in that uh, semi-final, that was that front side air reverse that came into play right at the end of uh, one of his waves. It was the difference up against two Kennedy. So, is Chloe going to do that? Is he going to play that uh, sort of rail-to-rail -rail game? Or is he going to start showing us a little bit of what chloe has got? We haven't seen a lot of airs from him. You know, every now and again, he'll pull one out when he needs to. I think he's going to have to win the final. What a cool matchup on paper. They both have a solid air game. They're both progressively radical. And Dino's been throwing nines in just about every single matchup that he's come through all the way to the final. As we're getting caught up with those waves, Kolohe got this one. Yeah, look, a good solid wave. Yeah, I think the conditions are absolutely perfect right now for the finals. We've seen uh, some good waves come through. Obviously, Matty Wilco with an 8.6 Kolohe. Just slashing back, waiting for it. I love the way he just steps on the tail, kicks that nose up. And what he's doing is he's engaging those fins, just getting it ready for what might happen. And then once that wave starts picking up speed, he then puts his weight forward, and he's off, off he goes. So now looking at 24-28 on the clock. Kolohe out front, but the best number belongs to Matty Wilkinson's back end. An 8.60 to put himself in a great spot. Let's take another look at the score. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, the right wave. This, these are the waves that Matty Wilco needs. Nice and vertical right there. Look at that turn and just gives it that extra little bit. You talk about variety on the back end. He's got that. Just blowing the fins out the back, creating that little bit of a drift effect. It just shows complete control from Matty Wilco. Three solid turns to kick things off. Now he's going to find Milk and try and find that inside connection. Just a transition turn right there, joining the dots, waiting for it, biding his time. There's no rushing with this uh, surfing at the moment. And that's what's making those turns nice and clean. Beautiful inside section and just going for broke on that last one there, just pushing a little too hard. All the damage was done and a great score, 8.60, well deserved. I mean, uh, you know, with, uh, with, that, with that big wave, that big single score, here he goes now to back it up. Wilco with priority, sprays Kolohe in the face on the way down, jams it real quick. He'll get a little hung up in the white water, forcing that little top turn, so he has to get out. Ooh. I think he was more interested in spraying Kolohe there than, <laughs> than right in the wave. Uh, and that's got to tick you off a little bit, being Kolohe. So, hey, what are you doing, man? But, uh, yeah, just a little bit of a mistake right there. And then, you know, I'm sure Micro is going to do exactly that as well. As we can see, Matty Wilco there, just uh, Kolohe, get out of the way, buddy. That's what he's saying to Kolohe. Kolohe turning his head saying, yep, I'm not watching that. You know, the little things like this, though, you know, you've got to fix up using priority on a, on a small wave like that. This is Andino, quick to answer, floats right into a carving three, but he'll get hung up. So two small scores coming in from Wilco to Andino with 6.15 to go. You look at that last wave where Wilco just sprayed Kolohe in the face. It's just a 2.57, got the lead change, and Dino took the next one. So now Wilco has the lead and priority with 14.45 to go. Under priority, Kolohe is going to get started. Clean snap. He's got a good wall on this track. Full rip in the pocket. Now he's going to throw it up vertical. There comes that wrap. Perfect technique and form from the Californian. He'll slow down. He wants this wave to help him out a little bit. Draws it back. It's still bending away. But he'll hang in there. Just wants something major to work with. He's in a bigger part of the wave. Another top turn wrap. He'll get a little bit hung up on the finish. That was a little leg burner right there, that's for sure. I mean, this wave, you know, the smaller the wave, obviously, the less the power. 
uh, the more you've got to generate your own speed. Chloe doesn't seem to be bothered by that though. He's uh, Looks like he's still got some to burn, still got plenty of gas in the tank and uh, he's looking good. Um, this is a good move right here just to, he wants to play that seesaw battle with Matty Wilco. You know, he doesn't want to let Matty have the, have the lead for too long. The 4.35 required, I think this is going to swing the heat back in Chloe's favour. And, and in doing so, he's then going to make Matty Wilco think about it a little bit. Okay, Chloe's taking the lead, now I've got, I need another wave, you know. And instead of being in that situation of, hey, I've got the lead, I can just cruise, I've got priority. It just puts your opponent in a different headspace. So a good move here from Chloe, I, I think, just to get that wave under his belt, keep that, uh, keep that momentum swinging back and forth. Nice surfing from him right here, just clean, mistake free, just one little glitch right at the end. But I love the rail work from uh, Chloe, his board's looking fantastic at the moment as he brings this one through. Now Matt Wilkinson getting started on the next one. Backhand whip off the top and he steps off. See how close the numbers are with these two so far. For that big lead from the 8-6 to Kolohe's best of the 6-8-3 is keeping Wilco out front. And uh, we always look over and watch him surf next to the event and go, wow, you know, this kid's <laughs> got seriously good technique for a little guy. So here it is now. Now all grown up, Bandino takes a small wave, but Absolutely drills that first turn right into a tail drift. High line wrap for Antino. Continues that solid motion. Every decision looks tight and powerful. And he'll get dropped off on the inside corner. He's seeing if he can better a 4.5 with that wave. Smaller wave, got busy. You know, I like the fact that he's staying busy. You know, just keep plucking away. You never know. You could luck into one of those little growers and uh, stranger things have happened. Matty Wilco looks like he's having a look at this one, Joe. After a long wait, Wilco just steps off. He's really far out the back, so he should be able to keep priority with 6.22 to go. You know, it's uh, generally when you sit around and wait, you know, that pressure does build, especially here in the final. I mean, he's, uh, he's got one hand on the trophy, as does Chloe. Let's have a look at this wave here from Chloe Andino. I like the energy. I mean, this is the last event. Uh, last hit of the event and Chloe still looks like he's got plenty of left in the tank. This kid's fit, that's for sure. Nice swooping turns, low center of gravity bottom turn that just allows him to unleash big turns. Here we go. Now Wilco looks like he might commit a little bit further on this wave. Just S's his way back and forth in the pocket. He'll create some space now. With the lip showing up, he can do that backhand tail drift. Quick reaction off the top again for Wilkinson. Now looking to wind up for the finish. Hooks it for the closeout. Snap to finish. Different approach, wasn't it, Joe? I mean, you, you look at Chloe's sort of more jamming back into the power source. Matty Wilco, low bottom turn, vertical top turn. So the judges have kind of been liking that board up in the air, that board up vertical, 12 o'clock, as we always say in the sport of surfing. Let's have a look here, the opening turn, just waits for it to stand up, bides his time. Now he clicks with that first turn. Let's see if he's got any variety. Another similar turn. Fades off the bottom. Now he starts to crank it up. And yet again, another turn right there. So just building his points through the inside. Needs to finish strong, which he does nice and tight in the pocket. The flick of the hair and kicks out of that. So needing a small, well, needing a 4.60. Kaloe dropped a 5.83, so better his situation. Matty Wilco, 4.06 required. Nice surfing here from him, nice and smooth. Little check turn right there, which really put him in such a good spot. See how that, he lets that tail release, puts a lot of pressure on the front foot, releases those fins and lets that board slide, which is showing the judges variety, showing them complete control. There's that uh, trademark hair flick right there from Matty Wilco, kicks out. 4.06, I think he's going to get it. 3.40 remaining. Scores coming in for Wilkinson. He needed a 4.06. Comparing that to the last of Andino, he had a 5.83 inside wall where he did a series of carves and finished. This is a very important exchange here and judges taking their time with it. Now it's in. We'll get a lead change. Wilkinson a 5.60. Andino back to second and now needs a 7.38 for the win. Three minutes to go, Joe. This is it. We're down to the pointy end. It's, uh no making it through anymore, this is it. Got to let it all hang out. And Dino with priority, needs a 7.38, and here he goes. Big carve to start. So he throws that dagger on the first turn. Drifts over the next section, so far so good. Tail blow, reverse on the next opportunity. 
This wave's starting to reset, and he'll hug the pocket. He'll do anything he can on this next section. Vertical snap. He'll ride out. A focused look back to the fans and the panel as he's surfing with confidence through every single point on this wave. This one is coming down to the wire. Wilco, we'll see if he got up in time. The crowd's already cheering like he's got it. As Wilco now runs through a pretty solid section. Drills it on the back end, straight up vertical again, and he'll get dropped off out the back. Wow! Yeah, I'll tell you what, Matty Wilco kind of thought maybe he needed that wave. Chloe and Dino lit that thing up. That was some three big turns out the back. Made the connection 7.38. Joe, I don't know. As we look at that replay of red real quick, that last wave for Wilco wasn't in time. So all we're looking at is this last wave of Kolohe and Dino. All right, let's have a look at the merit on these first couple of turns there. Beautiful slashing maneuver, loses the fins a little bit. Puts him right in that perfect spot there, connected there. Maybe could have got a little bit more radical. Now he throws the tail out into that spin. A little bit of downtime here as he hops over that section, waiting for it to, to form up on the inside. Needs a connection here to get the score. Now he comes off the bottom, bangs it up through the lip. Didn't quite connect on that right there as he looks in to his camp and says, what do you reckon? Maybe, maybe not. Kalohe I mean, now waiting for Wilco at the water's edge. What a great clash of the final. We will have a new champion as we wait for the judge's decision on the last of Kalohe. They will take their time. He needs a 7.38. Last of Andino comes in at a 6.83. It's not enough. Matt Wilkinson is the champion of the Quicksilver Pro Gold Coast in 2016. We heard the crowd roar when he paddled into that final wave. They're already giving it to him. Wilkinson takes his first ever championship tour win and starts off the year number one in the world heading into Bells Beach. Wow. Well, well deserved. I mean, he took down some big guns along the way. You know, the world champion, Adrian de Souza. You see Ace there, first one to greet him. What a day for this young man worked so hard, turned his career around, finds himself on top of the world.